you're still watching ways. <laughs> Maury, so we're going to come to you. What did you find for us in the news today? Oh, okay. So according to the Minister of Education, Malam Adamu Adamu, um, he has said that the earlier resumption date, that is January 18, is just a cast in stone and that schools might not be resuming on that day. And parents on social media have been going haywire because, you know, obviously some of them want their kids to go back to school. Some of them actually like the idea. And since we have like two parents, that's you and Isi, what do you guys <laughs> think about the whole, you know, situation uh, on ground? Let me well, take it from the parent <laughs> angle. I'll take it from an educator's <laughs> angle. We are all confused to be candid because okay. there, we, we heard that um, it's supposed to, we are supposed to resume on the 18th. Then we got another memo saying that um, it has been, um, um, what's it called? Postponed, Postponed indefinitely. indefinitely. Then we also got another mm -hmm. one saying that probably, which is what we have currently, which is that probably it might be moved forward. Mm -hmm. So we do not know which is which yet. So we are waiting till we get confirmation from the government. So for me, uh, as a parent, first of all, I'll speak as a parent. I'll Absolutely. say that um, whether we wait till 18th to resume or we resume on the 30th or we resume on the 1st, Mm -hmm. If the government is not ready, they are not ready. Exactly. And time and time again, they have proven that they are not ready. Mm -hmm. The only children right now, honestly speaking, that are advan at an advantaged position in this whole school resumption thing are mainly the boarders. Because with boarding house, what a, a typical boarding house would do is that once the children come in, they isolate them for like 7 to 14 days. Immediately. Once there is no sign of anything, then they can now resume. Exactly. But there is no visiting, there is nothing, which is what mm -hmm. we did last time in our school. Okay. But the, the fear I have with all of this is the students that go to school every single day, that go day students, exactly. right? Exactly. Those are the challenges. So even if the government says, mm -hmm. oh, um, we're going to resume on the 50th, mm -hmm. if there's any date like, like that, they are still not ready. They've not gotten their acts together. They don't mm -hmm. show that they have the capacity to manage this thing. So I'm just wondering, the, the reason for postponing the resumption, mm -hmm. have you put in X, Y, Z in place? Hmm. The yeah. answer is no. So that's my point. So what is the point of uh, postponing it? The children are just there, idle, not doing anything, playing left, right, and center, you're driving the parents crazy. How are you engaging them? How do you intend to engage them? And it's, this, the, this comes back to the school. I'm not even talking about the private schools because the private schools can always do something about it. I'm talking about the public the government schools. schools. The public schools are the ones that really need this intervention right now. And, the earlier, and what have the government put in the place? Earlier the government actually puts things in place to the actually resolve this the better for everybody. Yeah, so we're not talking that today. So my our time for uh, What's in the News, we thought to bring someone very special. Um, I met her, sorry, she's, a, she's my friend's daughter. So I, I went and I visited them and I was just asking, so what has COVID um, thought you guys? Mm -hmm. And she said something very interesting and I thought that it was worth um, mentioning, right? When we see young children doing great things, exactly. we, should, we should encourage them. So Salma Basharu, is a 13-year-old um, year nine student of Day Waterman College. Wow. And she is the founder of Spain that Stop Poverty in Nigeria. Wow. So amazing concept, I mean, initiative. So Salma calls herself and anyone who wishes to join her initiative, spinners. So officially, I am a spinner. Oh, we are <laughs> Hi, <all> Salma. <laughs> and she's joined us live via Zoom. Salma, are you there? Hi, Auntie. Hi, darling. Hi, How are you? <laughs> so um, it's so interesting. I wanted to, you know, you know, not pass this opportunity for the world to see what made you to start this initiative called Spain. So maybe you just share with everyone else. You know, you've told me already. So just share with everyone else what you thought about and why you decided to start this initiative called um, Stop Poverty in Nigeria, which is Spain. Great initiative. Okay. Um, thank you for having me. So um, SPIN is an acronym for Stop Poverty in Nigeria. And it came to me during the, um, like in the middle of the pandemic. So basically I went, I was coming home with my mom. I was coming home with my mom from somewhere and my parents. And then I looked out of the window and then I saw all the children on the street. And I was just wondering what was going on in their minds. And then I thought, do they feel lonely? Do they feel like, they're not loved, they miss being loved. So I saw 
and I thought I don't know if it's just my imagination, but it looked like they were they were truly lonely, and I knew I had to do something to stop it. Like I had to be part of the change if there was even going to be one. So once I got home, I decided to write a bucket list, and at the top of my bucket list, I put to deliver a hundred book um, packages to the less privileged, and the um. The things that's going to include in the packages are not just basic things that people need. Of course, I'm going to include that, but also things that um, other people who are privileged to have stuff, I'm going to make them feel privileged because they truly deserve them more than we do, if you think about it. And I need to make them feel loved because I do truly love them. Thank you. Awesome. And she's so eloquent. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wish is. all my students were just <laughs> like you. <laughs> oh, yes, she is. So, Summer. So, yeah, go ahead. Yes. Um, so, Summer, after you did this, have you been able to, you know, uh, pass this message across to your peers in school to also, you know, reach out to individuals or children who are less privileged? Okay. Um, so, um, all I have to say is that take a moment and look at the world around you. It may take some time for your eyes to clearly open and see all the troubles going on in Nigeria. But you actually, sometimes you just have to open your, you just have to open your eyes wide because there are some people who don't have the same opportunities and privileges as you, even though they really want to, they just can't. So you have to appreciate them because it's God's grace and glory that um, gave you the opportunity to live such a great life and not everyone has the opportunity. So I think we just have to appreciate them Aww. to take a look at everything around you and see what change you can make. Yeah, you awesome. can change. Mari, do you have a question for Salma or I should go ahead? I honestly don't have a question. I'm, I'm dumbfounded. I want to hug yeah. her so Aww. tight. Aww. Like, how is, how is somebody Aww. so young, so smart? Like, her parents are doing such an amazing... Oh, I love her yeah. so much already. You're doing an amazing <laughs> job, Salma. It. Don't stop. Yeah, okay? she is, actually. <laughs> and I was going to ask Salma, for mm -hmm. anyone that is watching, right, and the person wants to be part of this initiative, so for parents like us, mm -hmm. adults, that want to support you, what would support look like for you? And for young children that want to become spinners, right? Mm -hmm. So what should they do? How should they reach you and all of that? Like how should they reach me? Okay, yeah. so um, I'm currently working on a website. Okay. But um, before the website, it's going to be ready soon though. Before the website is ready, I'm going to print out some information and give it out to, I'm going to start with my family members though. Mm -hmm. But when, once the website is ready, um, I'm hoping it goes out to the rest of the world and they'll be able to um, sign up. They'll be able to sign up and join me and be spinners if they want. Like literally anybody can be a spinner. I just want to give any everybody an opportunity because people may have also seen this but didn't know what to do about it. Mm -hmm. So if they want to be part of the change, I know it's my idea, but this project is truly bigger than I am, honestly, exactly. if you think about it. Aww. So if they want to join me, it's completely free. So once my website is ready, they can just sign sign up, donate money. They don't have to do But like anybody can be a spinner, honestly. Aww. Thank you so much, Salma. <laughs> we love you and we are going to keep supporting you. You know, even when the website is announced and all of that, as you have time, we'll keep bringing you on. And please, for anyone that is out there, you know, people that are passionate, they don't remember money. I wish please, Jen, oh. <laughs> I wish she would do it before children's day. Yeah. So that we can bring her So away. we actually have to do so much. Um, so she mm -hmm. is, she has seen a problem in Nigeria and she's decided to take to the initiative. So for it. us on ways is about support and we are about solutions. We're not focused on the problem. We, are, we know that there are problems. And that's why we thought to, you know, um, bring Salma on tonight. Thank you so much, Salma. And my love and you know, tell your mom and your dad we love them. They're doing a fantastic job. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Salma. <laughs> Thank you, Salma. <laughs> All right, so we'll take a short break. When we return, today is Ladies' Night Out. So we're talking pastors all the way, immigration officers all the way. <laughs> we'll see you after the break. Stay with us.